Welcome to another episode of In My Opinion. I will guide you along this wonderful rant. This is your boy, Tony Roney. It was a problem. I'd always suspected those around me had seen my incessant pen clicking, knee shaking, and desk tapping. But I had no idea how bad it had gotten. Hey, we're talking about fidgeting toys. Now, before I go on this rant, I will tell you one thing. There's a reason it's called, in my opinion, and by all means, if this is something you don't agree with, then by all means, I get it. Okay, let's start. Now, the video I just showed you was from Ansi Labs, who made the Fidget Cube, and what they did was they took a Kickstarter, and what they were looking for was $15,000 for the main goal of it. I, they made way more than that. Now, the thing I've argued with Waffle Town, the other guys from Waffle Town, is they were like, well, Pookie the Wolf, that's me. Why are you, are you jealous about this? Are, are you mad that you didn't think of it first? No. I think I see it from the outside looking in, seeing it as a fad, and seeing it as how it's a pointless thing right now. It's like Crocs or Tamagotchis or Furbies or planking or other stuff. I mean, what really is the problem that I have with it? I think most of the problem that I have is that now companies are capitalizing on people who have anxiety or ADHD who it's, I get, it's supposed to help people with focusing and staying focused on meteorological tasks. Point is, is that I'm 26 now. I've been dealing without these things for 26 years and I've been pretty good. I mean, not completely. I, mean, I graduated. Yes, studies have showed that when people do have them, they're able to focus on a task and get things done easier than people who wouldn't be. My point is, is that I deal with all these things. I am completely in this demographic of people who should be using them. The point is, is that I don't see a point to be using them now. I mean, I've been fine for a good while now. I've been on medication and, you know, not now, but when I was in school. The point is, is that I don't see the point in marketing this thing to people to make money off of. And that's what the main thing is. No one's out there being like, this is a worldwide epidemic. We need to fix this fidgeting shit and make sure people are on task with stuff. Because if not, we're going to be fucking fucked as a generation and a group of people. Just as humans, we're going to just be fucked. And that's the thing. We're already fucked. With half the shit we have, selfies and just stupid planking and and uh, ugly challenge or whatever the fuck that is Instagram and and Twitter and in and, and snapchat social experiments we're already at the point where I can not talk to anybody and order so much food that no one will ever know if I fucking choked on it and died no one would ever find me you know why because I'm not streaming it live on Facebook how I feel yes I think that it is good for people who need it for people who really have a hard time focusing on things in school and at work I think it's great if you need to use it go ahead I think there is an easier way to do it there is a simple alternative for spending 5 20 bucks on a thing that spins or a thing that distracts you long enough to get your stuff done by the way the video that I showed you in the beginning Ansi Labs they did make a funny thing out of it they did make fun of the fact that you know made it seem like it was an actual prescription for something which was great it's funny to you know you know make it laugh when they're trying to sell something but I think the point that it it did so well it's kind of unnerving how simple people could just buy that I think honestly you could just make one your own like you could make something out of scrap and just be fine with it there's nothing you have to do I think it's more so I'm I feel like I'm creative enough to not have to need one of these and that I don't want to be having to focus on something that's not necessary to buy something. I'm sure there's more I could talk about today about it, guys. But I think that's all I'm going to talk about for now. I mean, shit, when I get fidgety, I just play with my genitals. Playing with my dick. But yeah, in turn, I think it's just a fad for me right now. I think that it's a thing that's going to die down. And it's a thing that just makes me mad because it even was a thing. It's the same with planking or just stupid shit in general. Selfie sticks, that's another thing. It's just... Not something that's really necessary or 
needed or asked for. But it's all, you know, personal opinion. If you want to try using a fidget toy, I'm all for everyone doing their own thing, doing what you think is good for you, your own personal opinion. That's what these videos are about. So if you want to try it, if you think you have an easier time to focus with ADHD or focusing in general, then try these things out. I but you should definitely go to Five and Below or some kind of dollar store to get one of these. Like a cheap knockoff, because they all do the same thing, which is absolutely nothing. They just make you feel like something's going on. And I feel like that's if that's what works for you, then do it. Go for it. But I think that it's not necessary to spend a bunch of money just for some little toy. And trust me, I know all about buying toys that do nothing. I buy vinyl pops all the time. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and taking the time out to listen to my opinion. And I appreciate liking, subscribing, doing all that good stuff. And make sure to check me out on all the different social medias, SoundCloud, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. All that stuff because that's the coal that keeps this train moving. And um, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time.